Hello and welcome to BA Publisher Basics and Beyond. So in this chapter, we are going to take next step in the Excel based templates. So we're going to, we are going to use the XDO metadata and see how we can uh, leverage it for uh, other purposes. So our goal is to leverage the XDO metadata and see how they can be used in Excel templates. As always, there will be a file available, zip file available for you to download. Um, that will have all the step-by-step -step instructions and different, uh, you know, the templates at different stages. So as I, as I as we discussed before in the uh, previous uh, chapter, uh, Excel temp Excel templates is a simple way to generate Excel output. Uh, it's available only from twelve point, you know, twelve onwards. So our, you know, what what we want to do today is uh, we are going to use we're going to use XDU metadata to generate this total. So our template would, you know, template would looks, before, you know, we are going to use the same template as we had before and um, as we had in the previous chapter. And we're going to increment it by uh, enhancing it by adding uh, the total in it. So let's see how to proceed with this. So our, our goal is to just focus on creating the total summary. So, uh, as as always, I want to emphasize that the template we were, you know, with the new, you know, the version that I use, um, I didn't install the add-in for uh, Excel, but there is an add-in available. So I used template viewer to view the Excel, you know, basically to test out the Excel template. So in order to access it, you would go to uh, template viewer. And um, you would go and select your files. Once you select your files, once you select your files, you can pick your directory. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me pick this guy, my directory. So you you would see the um, uh, you know you can select your Excel template. If you don't see the Excel template, you have the uh, older version of the. Um, of the BI publisher, please go ahead and install the latest version. So we would uh, continue to use this uh, for template viewer to view our data. So as I said, select your template, make sure you select your uh, log level uh, output format and just click start processing. So here's the steps to create that we're going to do. Let's go ahead to step one. We'll start with uh, saving the file to chapter 205 sample. So I'm going to um, cut some steps and I'm going to, because we have done these steps in the previous chapter, so I'm just going to glance through it first quickly. So we're going to copy the uh, metadata and um, I'm going to basically going to rename it. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to copy the first one, start the first one. So I have the metadata, I've copied it over and I renamed this. And the next step, I rename this uh, sheet to So we look at the sample file. Uh, it's the same same sample file we used in the previous chapter. We'll have a row, uh, you know, as a root element. Row set as the main root. Simple, straightforward one. So let's go ahead and build the uh, basic uh, layout. So in order to add the fields, we would use uh, XDO EMP number. If you know we have done this in the previous lab, so if, if for some reason you want, to, you know, I don't want to repeat the same thing, so we can skip through this fast. So we would um, we would use this method to create the uh, XDO EMP. So we're going to add the loop to XDO group uh, root name. So let's go ahead and see those. So we have created the first step. In the first step, we have created this uh, formatting. Then the next step. So we have added the fields, if you notice here. So we, in order to add the fields, we have into formulas, define name. We can use the name manager to add it. So we have uh, done those uh, steps. In the step three, in the step three, we added uh, we added the group, so you can see the group. So let's go ahead and formulas. So you can see the exterior group is for that the session of that session and uh, the next group we have formatted it so at, we are at step um, 
let's go let's go ahead and um, so we have added the for loop so we test it out so next next thing next step we are going to do is we are going to leverage the XDO metadata so as of now you would you would not have seen the use of met XDO metadata so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new variable called the total salary and we are going to use the sum of the salaries so basically it's a simple uh, formula we we just want to get the sum of salaries sum of the total sum of all the salaries for the for that for that particular um, output for the particular results that we have so we're going to do uh, we're going to do xd we're going to create a new one so we what we do is we can type in xd your total salary and we're going to do this uh, we're going to simply do this uh, sum sum if you get confused with uh, if you are not you know if you haven't seen this video there's a video about uh, the access path so if you see slash slash what does it mean so a single period means current node double period means the parent of the current node slash slash means uh, search under any node so basically we are saying that get all salaries from any node basically get all the so all the elements which have which have a, which have a uh, element so basically we're looking for anything that has a cell and they are summing it up so that's what we are going to do let's go ahead and do this so we're going to type in xdo total cell then use the syntax um, xxl value of select equal Some gonna get any all the we're gonna search for anywhere that has this uh, this value. Then we are going to end. So we have done that. So um so let's go ahead in the next. So at this point we have created the variable. Let's go ahead and uh, add that to the. Um, uh, let's go ahead and add the add uh, add a holder place for that variable. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to say total salary. Let's put uh, let's put a number there. Let's format it to thousand. So let's go ahead and uh, color it out. Let's go ahead and add uh, double water. All right. So at this point, we have not tied the variable into the uh, placeholder. We just created this uh, total variable. Let's go ahead and test it out before we. Um, so that way we would know if there is an issue. So up uh, six. This is version six. So go to file, refresh. Go to six. Make sure Excel start processing. So this amount is still thousand because we didn't map it. So let's go ahead and map the field. So all we need to do is go to uh, formulas, define name. Let's make sure we copy the same name from here. Here, define name. You select your, uh, click OK. Let's go ahead and test it. So I've saved it as a solution seven. Refresh. Processing. Let's go ahead. We got the total. So, um, so let's go ahead and hide the 60 metadata. Right. Let's go ahead and test it out. So let's go to hide and uh, process so you don't see the XDO metadata you see the total so we have added the variable and I've gone through this so for each uh, so it's basically we're looking at the parent so slash slash of catalog name would give you the parent catalog name um, from anywhere from basically it's going to search for any catalog name 
So dot dot artist would give you the artist of the current parent. So sign this variable, equip test, hide XDM metadata. So we can we can you know of course add we can freeze the top rows, colors, and everything. So you can add it to if you don't see the Excel, give you know we have we have gone through the exercise before. So um, in this chapter, my goal was to help you to leverage XGO metadata to create a new variable. I hope that helped. So let's in the next few chapters. So uh, we would take it. Uh, you know, we would take it more. You know, we'll dig, dig more into the Excel-based templates, um, and you would see how to use Excel-based template. In you know, there are more advanced features in Excel-based template. We would go through one by one. Thank you.